Welcome. I am so happy to uh, welcome you here today. I personally have been looking forward to this conference uh, with so much excitement. The speakers that we have today uh, are fabulous. They cover a great range of issues and opportunities that are related to the human artificial intelligence collaborations that we're looking at in the future. And I'm really glad that you chose to uh, come and spend your time with us today. So let me say for all of you who were out late last night or uh, who welcomed the trick-or-treaters at your door, uh, it, today we're welcoming all characters, um, be they personal or impersonal, be they human or not human. Um, this is a very interesting set of characters. And this is Nadia on the left and Nadine on the right. And uh, Nadia Thalman uh, is a visiting professor at the Singapore's Nanyang Technical University Institute for Media. And she's spent about 30 years studying characters and virtual characters and created Nadia as a prototype of the kind of uh, personal assistant that might be helpful to uh, seniors who have dementia, for example. This is a prototype. It's not available commercially in case anybody asks. But it does give an indication, I think, of some of the ways that people are imagining that humans and artificial intelligence will interact. And it might be a, a personal memory assistant. It might be smart expertise that we are trying to create. It might be a sense of smart surveillance. And you probably recognize this character. Any of you recognize this character? Hal, yes, from 2001. Smart learning is uh, a key topic in classrooms. And we are trying to figure out how to scale smart learning. Uh, we've been studying smart offices. We are looking at smart manufacturing. We understand smart retail. And this little, uh, actually not so little, but this uh, robot, Ocean One, uh, is one of the robots that has been developed by the robotics lab here at Stanford to go deep into the ocean, deep under the surface of the sea, where humans cannot go to explore uh, and to do some archaeological exploration. It is manipulated by people who are in a boat on the surface of the water. Uh, and they have been uh, bringing back treasures from sunken ships. Uh, so smart discovery and uh, is a, an opportunity that, in fact, we are uh, opening ourselves to today. Media X is uh, really focused around discovery and discovery collaborations. And we find ourselves uh, looking at those discoveries that are at the intersection of human sciences and information technology with media broadly conceived here in the heart of Silicon Valley, where innovation is expected and at Stanford, where excellence is a threshold condition. And our goal is to identify the best questions that we can ask that will impact the future in a way that helps us to make technology that will enhance the human experience. So today's conference and the others that uh, the other uh, programs that are, um, there's one on November 13th, we just finished one on October 6th. These programs are um, thanks to our member organizations at the affiliate, the associate, the institutional, and the strategic level. Uh, these programs are brought to you uh, in appreciation uh, for our member organizations. MediaX has uh, affiliate members in the labs that are at Stanford as well. And our labs reach across 
uh, the entire campus where researchers are interested in studying questions that have both people and information technology at the heart of the question. And you will hear from a number of those today. So our goal in our uh, programs that are open to the public as well as our programs that are devoted to specific interests of our members are to uh, explore the horizons through the lens of the future and to connect business with Stanford's strengths. Uh, we want to tap the thought leaders and articulate the domain of study, calibrate the lens, get the question right, and understand the challenges and issues and opportunities, uh, the concept proofs and the iterations, and uh, catalyze and accelerate innovation. Our goals in the program today and in their research activities are to enable and to empower and always to be looking for the way that we can combine the strengths of Stanford with the strengths of the business community and saying, what can we discover together that neither of us could discover alone? So here we are. In a few decades, we've gone from machines that can execute a plan that is created by humans to machines that can plan. We've gone from computers as servants to computers as collaborators and team members. Artificial intelligence began, uh, and you'll hear uh, some comments from people today who, who were part of that history and who are as well as people who are part of the future, uh, understanding actions that humans performed and routine tasks that had predictable decision points became computer controlled through programs. And that was based on extracting expertise either through observation or through questioning the experts. And so those programs captured the how of human behavior and rules that machines could follow. Automated machines could do it faster, fewer errors, without fatigue, and humans could explain this kind of artificial intelligence. Enter machine learning, the capacity of computers to leverage massive amounts of data to act without specific human instruction. And so by looking at examples and extracting rules, machine learning captures the what of human behavior and in order to provide artificially intelligent answers for complex tasks. Examples, visual perception, speech recognition, translation, even decision-making. AI do, now does things that human, humans have a hard time explaining. And so as we go farther into the creation and harvesting and harnessing of artificial intelligence, we're asking three important questions that I believe open other questions as well. But they are, you know, on which tasks will Machines with AI be able to outperform humans. It may not be everything, but there may be some very important things that AI can do. What do we know about people and technology that will help us establish confidence? Certainty and collaboration in the new partnerships between humans and artificial intelligence. And the third question, the big question, is how can intelligent machines truly enhance the human experience? So we're looking for the best questions because uh, the uh, time is valuable and the opportunity to bring together the expertise of Stanford and the business community is a, is a great resource. If I show you this image, you can probably imagine some questions that you could ask about this. And this image is actually showing uh, the implementation of a new app that has been created by, in the Stanford Graduate School of Education called SMILE. It stands for Stanford Mobile Based Inquiry Environment. And this is a, a new set of tools that has been developed essentially to create a, a paradigm shift in the education toward active learning. Active learning is learning that is uh, motivated by uh, the learner's 
interests that involves asking questions uh, in which the students are not told the answer, but inspired and coached and helped to create and solve and evaluate and share uh, based on their independent interests. And we are going to today in the conference use one element of this app. On your program, in the back of your program, uh, there is a, uh, a code and there's also a URL where uh, on a mobile device you can go to this and as the presentations roll forward this morning, this afternoon, you can input your questions into this app. We will collect them and we will share them after the conference. Truly the power of a meeting like this where we have uh, so many fabulous speakers, we have many people in the audience who themselves could be speakers at this conference. The opportunity is to um, interact and to ask questions uh, that will uh, engage and inspire each other. And so we would uh, like to invite you to um, go on to this uh, URL, uh, download the, <clears throat> uh, use the interface to ask questions that are occurring to you as the presentations go forward. Um, Wilson Wang, stand up please. Thank you, is a part of the team in the um, Graduate School of Education's IT department who has been working on this application. Again, we are using just a small component of it as it's used in schools and as it's used in uh, innovation settings for corporations. It is used to help people work together to improve the quality of the questions that they are asking in order to um, expand and empower their discovery. So um, it's being used around the world. Uh, we're trying it out here today in the MediaX conference. So uh, please log in and begin uh, working with that. We would like the day for you to be a day of not only listening, learning, but also of reflecting and being able to generate uh, through your personal learning uh, some stimuli and some inquiries uh, that can be shared with others. So it's going to be um, a wonderful day. I want to thank Jason Wilmot, please, who uh, is the master of uh, implementation on MediaX events and uh, communications uh, for has a very good job of getting people organized. Kara, Karina Alexanian, uh, in charge of member benefits at MediaX, uh, who is helping the speakers uh, get here on time. And with that, what do you say we get started? Mm -hmm.